Now let's talk about stage versus non-stage payloads. And before we do that, we must talk about a payload. So a payload is what we're going to run as an exploit. And when we run that exploit, it's called a payload. We use different types of payloads depending on what it is. So you might see a Windows type payload or a Linux type payload or as you see on the screen, interpreter type payload, there's Python, there's all different types. There's like 500 and something that we saw in Metasploit alone. And these payloads are what we use to send to a victim and attempt to get a shell on the machine. Now it's gonna make more sense as we go. It's okay if you're still a little bit confused on all of this. There are two main types of payloads that we need to pay attention to. There is what we call non-stage and what we call staged. Now, a non-stage payload sends an exploit shellcode all at once, where a staged payload sends it in stages. The non-stage payload is larger in size and it doesn't always work, where the stage payload can actually be less stable. So each has its con. And we have an example of it, and this is really what I wanna point out is, we have this non-stage payload and we have a stage payload. And do you see the one difference between the two? All it is is a forward slash. So when we see these and we're using something like Metasploit and we have to pick out a payload, if we see something like meterpreter underscore reverse underscore TCP, this identifies that this is a non-stage payload. We can ignore the windows here, but here we see meterpreter forward slash reverse underscore TCP. This means we have a stage payload. What's happening? It's saying, hey, stage one, stage two. What's happening here? It's saying, hey, let's send this all at once. So this is gonna become very important very quick as we will attempt an exploit here very soon and it's not going to work. And then we're gonna change the payload and it's gonna work beautifully. So understand that what the really the takeaway is if you have a payload that does not work, maybe try the other other type of that payload. If you see something like reverse TCP, which is a reverse shell, by the way, over a TCP connection. If you say, hey, I'm going to send this stage reverse TCP, it's not working. All right, let me try to send a non staged reverse TCP. OK, that's not working. But I'm sure my exploits, right? So maybe I send a bind shell instead of a reverse shell here, and I'll send a bind shell stage and then non-stage. And we just keep trying until we find a payload that works. Not every payload is the right payload, and we have to find the one that works for us. So the takeaways, remember the forward slash, remember the slight differences between non-stage and stage, and remember if your payload fails but you think it's the right exploit, maybe change your payload. So we'll see that here very shortly as we start to get into exploitation in the next few videos.